What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm going to give you a quick meal update, which has been similar, you know, to several past day of eatings, but you know, there have been constant things that I've learned over the past few months, few years that I keep overlooking that almost kind of set me back to square one in a sense that, you know, I make one mistake and I feel like crap for a few days. I don't sleep. I do whatever. So this is going to be about, you know, taking that step back acknowledging that you have to keep a lot of consistencies in your diet and not overlook some simple things. But before we go really into that, let me just show you guys what I'm eating today. And uh, some of you keep asking me why I wear the same clothes every day, which is just a bunch of gray sweats. It's because I'm in the freezer at Frankie's Free Range Meat, so I need to wear like three or four layers. And this is all I really have. You know, I would like to you know, wear something a little nicer, like some at least slacks or jeans and you know, a nicer shirt, but it's just too much at this point working every day. Very simple today. White basmati rice, cauliflower, skirt steak, everything organic. The steak is grass fed from Frankie's free range meat. You know, I really do enjoy the flavor of skirt steak uh, more so than most of the other ones. You know, I was having some bavette steak, some ribeye steak the past few days, but skirt is definitely one of my favorite. Although I'm trying to keep the steaks leaner and avoid fat because you know, when you have liver damage, a lot of fat at once can put excess stress on bile production and uh, that sometimes gives me insomnia. Prep, I've shown you guys before, steak was just sauteed in a little bit of oil with salt on it. Cauliflower, water, oil, salt, steamed in the pan for a little bit. And the rice, same exact thing. Coconut oil, a little bit of salt, glass bottled mineral water, everything high quality, you know, steel contact, no chemicals, trying to do everything as it should be done. We got the Mountain Valley water, got some land salt I ground up here from Frankie's Free Range Meat, and uh, we're also going to have some water kefir, and instead of doing the flavored stuff in the jars, I found it easier to just, you know, pour it back in here, put a little bit of sugar in them, you know, not mess with the lemon, the lime, the ginger, it's just extra work that I'm just so exhausted doing. Now I did try a couple different things the past two weeks that didn't really work out. I was eating some pizza that was just, you know, the sourdough base that you guys saw me make a couple weeks ago and I was putting like onion, mushroom, some steak on it. Really, really delicious, but I didn't feel too good after I was eating it. And then the past few days I was having some sauteed mushrooms, which also gave me a little bit of stomach issues, uh, mainly because they were so caramelized and cooked, that could have been the problem. Could be that they're also concentrated in minerals. And I also did a video on mushrooms, very extensive, very in-depth, and there are compounds in them that can cause stomach irritation. I did find that one of the reasons for my headaches last week was I oversalted my food a couple days in a row, like I accidentally put too much salt in the rice, too much salt on the cauliflower, too much salt in the pizza dough, and that over the course of several days, you know, not hydrating adequately, not getting enough potassium. One of the few times where I might have overlooked my salt intake in the past few years. And that ties in a lot with the hydration. You know, I've been really stressed, just like waking up, working, and you know, for the past few months, I would drink like two or three cups of mineral water over the first hour of the morning, which I really, really, really need to start doing again. Otherwise, I get headaches, I don't feel good, I lose energy throughout the day. And eating a lot of white rice and a lot of carbohydrates and meals like this can really deplete certain vitamins, especially vitamin C, vitamin B1. So I like ascorbic acid. There's a lot of anti-nutrients in things like acerola cherry, camu camu powder, rosehip powder. Those can all have issues. So sometimes I'll just have like a quarter teaspoon of ascorbic acid with the meal. And then the vitamin B1, I'll take a couple capsules. Sometimes I'll use the B complex from organ supplements. Uh, but since my diet is so rich in other B vitamins from kefir, from all the meat I'm eating, I tend to just take extra B1 on the side. Now one big issue for me is I always have leftovers and I have to really start putting them in the fridge and trying to keep the food as fresh as possible because when you let it sit out for a day, you know, half a day in the hot weather, especially can get a little funky grow bacteria and when you have a compromised digestive system you just don't feel good eating it. I'm going to put a little mustard on my steak and yesterday I actually cooked 
the steak and the mustard in the pan, which I liked a little bit. My guess with the pizza when I wasn't feeling too good is just that my gut motility was much lower, not as much fiber. So everything I've gone over so far is just to kind of keep me at baseline. Like if I don't have all of those things in check, I start feeling really, really crappy. There are things additionally that I'm trying to do that make me feel really, really good. You know, making sure to get the selenium, the manganese, the molybdenum, the copper, all of those plant-based minerals in supplemental form several times per month. Uh, one thing that I forgot to do for probably a couple weeks now is have the lamb or goat testicles for that testosterone boost. So I'm probably gonna try to do that stuff over this weekend. And the two biggest things that I'm hoping to be able to do as the weather gets better is supplement high doses of magnesium and get out in the sun for two or three hours per day. I think that's gonna really, really get me back in shape, you know, help heal my liver. And maybe this season for the summer and next season for the summer, if I'm able to do that, hopefully I'll be at 100%. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm almost 30, but you know, I'm, I'm not some old man yet. I shouldn't feel like this. I should have at least, you know, 15, 20, 25 more years, I hope, of feeling good. Uh, so, now, liver damage is definitely no joke, but we'll see how long it takes to fix. All right, so when I'm more than halfway done with my meal, what I do is I go, I drink some water kefir, and I have some enzymes. I've lowered the amount of enzymes I've had to take. Uh, I think my liver is definitely getting better. My pancreas is definitely getting better uh, because when you take too many enzymes, what will happen is you'll get a, a really like strong burning sensation in your stomach right after you eat, which, which will kind of hurt. So that means you definitely want to tone down the amount of enzymes you're using because they're making your stomach really, really acidic and corroding the food too quickly. And the main thing I've noticed when getting my supplements right, especially the vitamin C, the B1, the minerals, I don't crave as much food. I'm not like stuffing myself. You know, in past day of eating, you guys saw me eat like three or four cookies after a huge plate of food. Sometimes I'm not even eating cookies anymore, maybe even just half a cookie. So I'm definitely getting better. It's just a matter of, you know, keeping everything in check for a longer period of time. And this bodybuilding has definitely done me more harm than good because even just the extra muscle mass I have now, my body pretty much craves more food than what fits comfortably in my stomach. So like I want to eat more, but my stomach is completely full. I didn't show you guys the meat is... uh. The meat's pretty much raw on the inside, which I've been doing lately. And this is basically what I used to do pretty much every day of eating for most of my time on YouTube. Just a light sear on the outside to get some flavor and the inside's raw. Well, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Hopefully I've given you some tips or some reminders that you can implement into your own diet. Uh, you guys can check out frank for all my businesses, Frankie's Rage Meat, I'll try to get the water kefir back in stock ASAP. Outside of that, please leave a comment down below. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe so that YouTube unsubscribes you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. If you guys have any questions about the meal, whatever it may be, please, please leave that comment down below and ask me whatever you like. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.